behind G1 Goldmine. Uh, we'll use it. Wouldn't use it. Wouldn't use the word genius, yeah, but um, use the word genius. <laughs> um, and he's going to demonstrate what the product does and um, how it can help you do your matings better. And we're going to talk a little bit first, and then you guys can help yourselves to the food in there, and then we're going to come back and sort of sum things up. So, without no further ado, thank you. All right, thank you, Erin. Yeah, it's been um. I've given presentations all, all, all across the world, actually, but this is a bit unusual. Because in the barn and the, the cabaret style, I feel, feel a bit like a Dean Martin or a Frank Sinatra. But, but it's different. It's good. Actually, it's more authentic. Um, but yeah, look, I'm going to talk about, uh, so I'm going to talk about G1 Goldmine, which is the product that we have. But more importantly, I'm going to talk about um, things that are working, um, things that are not working. I'm going to talk about sex balancing. I'm not a big sex, sex balancer. People believe in sex balancing and I, and I don't believe it and I'm going to demonstrate why I don't believe it with some, with some hard data, I hope. Um, I'm going to talk about patterns. Um, uh, you know, my big thing is patterns. I mean, if you, if you breed to a pattern that works, you replicate success. So if you know what a, pattern, what, a, what a successful pattern looks like in terms of a pedigree pattern, then you have a higher chance of producing a good horse, I figure. It's a bit like, you know, if you want to assemble a basketball team, um, you say, well, okay, how do I, what, is a, what does a good basketball team look like? So what do you do? You, you, you go, for example, you come here you know, and you go to the NBA. And you, look at, you look at a successful basketball team and say, well, what do these basketball players look like? The, the good ones. Well, they're normally six foot eight. They've normally got big thighs. Um, and they can normally jump, you know, um, whatever, one, one or two feet, in, well, I don't know, whatever, one, one feet in the air. You know, so you go to the NBA to find basketball players. You don't go to Singapore or Thailand where the guys are really are, are, are short. Um, and the same with pedigrees, and, you know, if you know what a pedigree, of a, if, you, if you know what a group one winning pedigree looks like, and if you, if you duplicate it and replicate it, then you replicate success. That, 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 that's my thing. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that, then we'll have a bit of a, bit of a, bit of a, bit of a supper, um, and then when we come back, um, it's Empire Start, so Erin's going to give a, a short, short talk on, uh, on, on her stallions and, new, and her new stallions. I'm also going to talk about, I, um, I'm pretty fortunate, I, I get to go around the world and last year I was in a genetic symposium in Ireland and, I'm going to, and there were some interesting findings out of a genetic symposium. But I'm going to talk about a little bit about that, uh, very fascinating um, concepts and part of that was the, the X-Path and uh, the large heart factor and I'll, 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 I'll mention that as well. So um, and I'm going to talk about inbreeding, inbreeding to things like Mr. Prospector, is that good or is it bad? Inbreeding to Danzig, is that good or is it bad? Inbreeding to um, Secretariat, is that good or is it bad? And so on, so we'll, we'll talk about that. Um, okay, just just for for a start, just a very very quick um, uh, story of of me. I'm a software guy. I became I got interested in breeding eight years ago. Um, the reason why I got interested in breeding is because I bought a share in a horse, and the horse could run. It turns out that this horse ran fourth in a Group Three. You know, my very first horse. So, and it was by a, a little known sire called Sky Chase in Australia. As you can see, I'm from Australia. And Sky Chase only really had one good horse. Um, he had a one Group One winner, and then he had our, our horse. And I was curious as to why that, this horse could run. So I started looking at pedigrees. And of course, being a software guy, you, you, you start putting together a database, and you start putting in ancestors, and you put in two generations, three generations, and, and so on. And I bought some products. I looked at the internet. Um, but none of the products at the time, I looked at Tessio Power, I looked at Pedigree Plan, I looked at CompuSite. It didn't tell me what I wanted to, what I wanted to know. And what I want to know was, do these two ancestors together work anywhere in the pedigrees? For example, if you cross Moccasin and Thong together, do they work? Now, Moccasin and Thong are full sisters, so people think that uh, you know, mixing, putting two, sister, two, putting two full sisters together in a pedigree is normally it's meant to create a genetic explosion. Well, does Moccasin and Thong, let me ask you, anybody, do, would you, do you think that would work? Russell, do you think that would work? Oh, sure. Sure, Moccasin over Thong, yep. Most people would say, yep. Works, work at some. So we'll we'll have a look. But that's what that's what started the whole thing because I, I couldn't find a product, so I said, you know, I'll write my own, which I did. I wrote this product. Um, I got lucky. Some key people around the world downloaded the product and, and installed it and started using it. And now we have we have 1,800 people, 1,800 users around the world. And I think it's 25 different countries now. Uh, we're pretty proud of it. The stud farms, most of the major stud farms in the world use the product now. Are cool more worldwide. Um, um, people like Dali here, I guess, Winstar, Lane Z in, in Kentucky, the top 10 stud farms in Australia, the top 20 stud farms in South Africa, um, and so on and so forth. So we're pretty, we're pretty proud of what, what we've achieved. Um, but we'll, 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 we'll run through it. 
Now I'm going to be using a lot of um, genetics, um, generic sire lines, but just to show you, the key thing 